That didn't take long at all. Sorry I'm whispering, there's definitely some more over there. And I don't want to blow up my spot just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and collect these bad boys. So I can go ahead and take them inside and start skinning them. And hopefully some other ones will work their way in here. I got plenty for a meal right now. Plenty for what I need to do this video. But I'd like to get some more. So. Let's go check on our lunch. Unfortunately, I had to put two shots into that second one. Here's the first one. Knocked him right in the creek. That's good though, that's good. Ah. Oh. Ah. Yes. Put you in there. And here's the second guy. He was moving around a little bit on the ground, so I felt it necessary to put something through his head. All right. Yeah, that's life's out for him. Ooh, he's still warm. All right, guys. All right, so let's go over here and start cleaning these. This one fell on the creek after I shot him, so he's already a little bit wet. Nice. So we're just gonna do like we usually do. Just snip the feet off right here. There we go. Now I've heard there's some fishing companies, I believe it's MEPS the, that makes those little spinning things um, for bass and really whatever. I heard they buy these. I don't know, but I heard they buy the squirrel tail. Alright guys, so I've went ahead and put away most of the meat, but these are the three pieces I'm just I'm going to cook today. I'm not going to cook the whole thing, I put most of it up in the freezer. And the only reason I'm not cooking it all today is I am out of most of the stuff I used to cook squirrel. I don't have any oil, I don't have any breading, I don't have any flour, I don't have anything like that. All I have is basically pots and pans and water and a little bit of butter. You can't see it. But it's layer. Oh. Let's get the camera away from the heat. For some reason, technology and fire just don't really mix that well. Here's one last look at the little legs. So I know that water's not boiling yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. I don't think it'll matter too much if I put them in now or if it's boiling. And give them a boil for like 15 minutes. All right, these boys have been rolling for a minute. I'm just checking to make sure they're nice and tender. Oops, oops, oops. Oh yeah, these are good to go. And now we need to get this crap mail. Yeah, we need to get this melted so we can go ahead and get those legs on there so they can start their sizzle. That's going down. I think these should be cool enough for us to work with. Dip it into the egg and buffalo sauce mix. Roll it up there in the flour. And this is just regular all-purpose flour. I didn't put any kind of seasoning in it. All the seasoning I put in was straight into the uh, straight into the egg mix with that buffalo sauce. All right, so that's what it looks like all messed up. Don't that look good? Like for real? Don't that look good? Except for these couple of random hairs hanging off. That's actually kind of gross. Number one, number two, number three. All right, I need to go wash my hands. Hopefully these don't burn while I'm gone. Y'all watch these for me. I'm nervous for the first flip. Look at that, y'all. That looks amazing. Oh my god. Whew. My camera's starting to run low, so I'll turn this back on when these are done. Woo! There we go, guys. Check that out. Wow. Doesn't that look amazing? Some buffalo fried squirrel legs. Woo! 
I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I feel kind of weird just standing here holding a plate of fried squirrel legs in my backyard. My house is so messy and and it's kind of dark too, so it's just easier to film outside. But I just feel weird, like, well, like my neighbor could just like walk by and see me holding a plate of fried squirrel legs talking to a camera. It's it's not like I have to explain anything to anybody. It's just one of those things. It's 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 just awkward. But let's give this a bite. And make sure it came out all right. Oh my god. I hate it when people say it tastes like chicken. But you could take this to someone and they would seriously think you brought them chicken. They'd be like, wow, this fried chicken's really good. You'd be like, I know, right? Wow. <laughs> I don't always boil it, but when I boil it, it's so much juicier. It's so much juicier, so much more tender. And I don't I don't mind the toughness because there's a good flavor to it when you just straight up fry it. But when you boil it, I mean, gosh, it's tender. It's so tender. Do you want to hear something crazy, guys? It's finally been my first year on YouTube. January 21st, a couple, like a few days ago, that's my first full year on YouTube. I put up my first video January 21st last year, and it's finally been 365 days. It's like 370 something right now. I don't know. I didn't go to college. I can't count good. Hey, don't do that. Trying to get into my stuff. No, sir. No, sir. But, uh, I'm curious. So, I've finally been up for a year now. There's about 18, 19,000 of you. So, I'm curious. When did you subscribe? Was it January 21st last year? Because there's a few of you. I know you were there. Uh, or was it August, September, December? I'm just curious. Let me know down in the comments when you joined on. <laughs> but, alright, guys. I'm getting out of here. I'm done talking to you. You're all beautiful. You're all amazing. I love you so much. And I'll see you next time. Actually, 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 don't go anywhere. Let me know what you think about this kind of content as well. I really like doing these catch and cooks. Catch and cooks, even though I, I shot them and I killed them. I didn't really actually like catch them, I grab them. But let me know if you like these shoot and kill and, we'll call them a kill and cook. Let me know if you like these kill and cook down in the comments because I have a lot of fun doing these, but I'm not gonna keep doing them if y'all don't really enjoy them. So let me know. You're all beautiful, you're all amazing. I'll see you next time.